What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the final episode right here of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, we went through an adventure, a hell of an adventure, and, well, it all culminates to this one episode right here. So, yeah, in our last episode, we managed to capture Mewtwo through the, well, but thanks to you guys, because uh, many of you guys have been saying, hey, um, put it to sleep. Why are you paralyzing these Pokemon? Seriously, man. I thought you were better than this. Well, I'm not. I really am not. That's why I have you guys commenting on my stuff. That way, I learn. Okay? It's greatly appreciated. Anywho, we got Mewtwo. We trained our Pokemon. We did a whole bunch of stuff. And, uh, well... It is finally time to finish off this whole walkthrough with one final uh, go-through against the Elite Four. Now, remember... When you defeat the Elite Four the, for the first time, you are unable to go to the Cerulean Cave and capture Mewtwo. But, you won't be able to go to the Elite Four until you complete the Sevi, the Sevi Islands uh, work right over there. Mainly, uh, stopping Team Rocket and getting the, Saf the Ruby and Sapphire in order for you to trade to the Hoenn region. After that, you can come in and start battling the Elite Four yet again. Funny thing is... They put a little twist to this whole thing right here, and that is that the Elite Four is now buffed up. They actually <laughs> have six Pokemon. They have very good levels. On top of it all, some of these trainers have different Pokemon. Some that you probably would see in the Hoenn region, and uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very difficult. Now, the fun thing is, guys, when I was a kid, I remember going up against the Elite Four for the first time after finishing off the the seven islands I was I was surprised and I and I did beat the elite four with the the levels that I had it's just it was it was super challenging I was like wow I was surprised since then after playing Pokemon Fire Red multiple times without any cable cords or anything like that yeah I, I, I knew the spots to train and all that stuff so if you guys need a link for you know the best spots to actually train your Pokemon or Fire Red, or the same spots that I, I went through. The link will be on the description right there below. I have found the YouTube channel where it explains how much uh, how much experience points you can actually get. Now I don't know if you, I don't know if he doesn't count uh, what was it called, the experience share or anything like that. But he just counts the regular amount of experience points that you would normally get in different spots. Right here, you can actually go to Seven Island and battle those two cool trainers with an experience share docked into your Pokemon and then BAM! So anywho, enough talking. Now it's a lot of rambling. Let's go right ahead and uh, see what this guy has to say. He's like, yo champion in making. Okay, so he already knows what's going on right here. We are the champion. The thing is that, well, you know, they don't acknowledge me as a champion. And, well, it's time. Let's go right ahead and finish off this game with a bang and well hello there I haven't seen you since uh, I don't even know but mm, 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 mm. and as always guys yes let's go right ahead and start off with Shocker and well here's Lorelai she's like welcome to the Pokemon League I Lorelai of the Elite Four have returned you know how it goes no one bests me when it comes to icy Pokemon freezing moves are powerful your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid <laughs> are you ready I love this song, and she is fine. So here it is, guys. Elite Four battle number two against Lorelai, and yeah, she is going to be starting off with her Dugong. And I remember first seeing Dugong at level 64. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa! There's something wrong with this picture right here. I was like, holy bejeebus! How in the heck did Dugong get to level 64? And you know, of course. You do realize that, hey, uh, <laughs> this game does progress. It is the third generation and all that stuff. And here we get another level. And, well, she is coming to, she's going to be coming out with a Piloswine right here. Piloswine is a very uh, unique Pokemon right here. It is an ice and ground type Pokemon. Its weakness, water and fire type. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. Let's go with the Surf Attack. Piloswine looks just like a big old head. That's it. And there we go. Piloswine has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And, well, let's see. She's going to be coming out with a Lapras. So let's go right ahead and go back to Shocker right here. So, yeah. 
that was a that was a little bit of a story back then, you know, when good old Draven was like 10, 11, 12, I don't know, playing this game and all that. Again, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, one of my favorite series of all time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it just kind of sucked that you know back then I was just a kid, didn't really have uh, didn't really have a trading partner, didn't really have cable ca uh, or a a trade cable or anything like that. It wasn't until like you know. I started earning money, then I started doing things for myself, and then, bam, you find out about emulators, and <laughs> it, it all works out. It all worked out for the best, and you know, it was like being a spoiled kid. So, yeah. <laughs> like, I currently have a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, multiples of those, and I can trade whenever I want, especially with, like, the Nintendo Switch right here, so, yeah, it, it actually feels good. It actually feels good just trying, just trading for Pokemon that you've never had before right here. And, well, there we go. We have defeated this guy. And, well, she's going to be coming out with her Jinx right here. So let's go with Budkiss. Big booty Budkiss. And look at this guy right here. He's just looking fantastic. He is fantastic AF. And, well, Jinx, level 66. Looks intimidating. Still weak against Fire-type Pokemon. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. So, the initial plans for this this Pokemon League run was get my Pokemon team from Crystal to battle this whole thing, and yeah, she's not liking it. <laughs> she's definitely not liking it. And of course, we have defeated her, and well, we got a taste of her Pokemon power, including her. I will be back, babe. And here we are taking on Bruno. So what's going to happen here is, uh, let's see, he did switch up his Pokemon. I'm going to go with Budkiss right here because one of those switches is very imperative. So here he is, I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained uh, with my fighting Pokemon and they will never change. Draven, we will grind you down to our superior, or with our superior power. <laughs> and here we go. I love this song. Taking on Bruno yet again. Let's see what, what what changed right here. So he has five Pokemon, and yes, he has evolved his he has evolved his Onyx right here. So like I was saying, guys, the initial plan was to use some of the Pokemon that I used in Pokemon Crystal, my Johto team. The only problem was there were two Pokemon that I I wouldn't be able to get, and that was. Chikorita and uh, what was it name? Uh, Flappy. And the only way I could have got or could get those Pokemon is off of Pokemon Emerald. Chikorita. Once I seen all the Pokemon in the Pokedex, and who else? Who else? Oh yeah, Flappy in the Safari Zone in the after game version. So yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of shot myself in the foot right there. So. Decided that, you know what, let's go ahead and use the regular team, and let's have fun with this. Kind of feel as though that when I'm further, I'm further progress with Pokemon Emerald, I'm going to do a little something with both games right here. And, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think this is the end of Pokemon Fire Red, because there's still a lot of things that I kind of want to showcase. It's just the end of the gameplay right here. So, as you guys can see... Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, I should say. Getting his butt kicked, and well, let's go right ahead and do it again. As you guys can see, he does have he does have well three Pokemon from from the Johto region. Or actually two. But it would have been three if he would have incorporated Hitmon Top. So there we go. Hitmon Lee has been defeated. And well, here comes Machamp. I am not backing down from this guy right here, so. Here we go. What's up, Machamp? Let's go straight for a psychic attack. And would you look at this, Machamp buffs that. And okay, so why would you do why would you do earthquake? Seriously. Oh, uh, because I'm a poison type. <laughs> and well, would you look at that? Machamp has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. And Shocker grows to level 72, because it still has the experience here and all that crud. And he's like, why? How could I lose? Uh, because, well, you're Bruno. Not really, you're not much of a challenge, to be quite honest. I'm just saying it. And, well, I'm gonna shade, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark right here. I'm gonna go... I'm, 
I'm gonna go with Leonardo right here. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark right here. There are still a few things that I, I really want to show. Like evolutions and all that stuff, and I'm probably thinking of doing this uh, in my House of Draven channel. Once this whole thing is done, so we'll see what happens. And of course, she's gonna be talking about Professor Oak. You're the child that uh, Oak's taken under his wing, aren't you? Yes, and she, oh yeah, she loved him, and well, she like he likes to fiddle with his Pokédex. He's wrong, Pokémon are battling, and Draven, I'll show you what a real battle, what, what a real trainer battle is. So, yes, as like I said, I love this song. Let's go right ahead and take on Agatha right here. And yes, yeah, she will be coming out with a Gengar, level 66. Let's go with a Surf Attack. And I am... I'm surprised that, you know, Leonardo's faster than Gengar right here, so there you go. And Hypnosis has been used. Okay, so this is not cool. Alright, good thing is that we actually have a Poke Flute. Let's go right ahead and use that. That way, many of you guys don't get mad at me. So there we go. Wake up, homeboy. Wake VF up. And there you go, he is awake, and, well, there comes a psychic attack right here, so, yeah, we need, to, we need to keep on watching out for that one right here, so let's go straight for a surf attack. And just like that, good old Gengar has fainted, and here is a new Pokemon that, well, Agatha's gonna be using in his Mistrevis. now, we we'll go straight for Bunkus right here. So here we go, switching it off. And here comes Mistrevis, a ghost type. The next, well, the next entry in the ghost types, and that is Mistrevis. Not much of a, not much of a threat. It's not as speedy as you know the regular ghost type Pokemon that we've seen here. And well, look at that. It's using Thunderbolt. That's kind of scary right there. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use another flamethrower for the win. And, well, look at that, okay, so, there goes Mischievous, and let's see, she's going to be coming out with an Arbok right here, so it's finally time to use Smasher, let's see how we do right here, and, well, let's see, alright, so Arbok, of course, having Intimidate, that right there was going to mess with our attack a little, so let's go straight for an Earthquake attack. And here it comes, and oh, nearly makes this Pokemon faint. And of course, Arbok has to have Earthquake as well. And this almost defeats us. So let's go right ahead and use one more Earthquake. Of course, this guy is going to be, or this chick is going to be using uh, her full restore on, on Arbok right here. So let's go right ahead and get an attack off. And just like that, bam. Okay, so we got one more attack right here. And there you go. Okay. Alright, so it's looking pretty good right here. And uh, <laughs> look at that, Smasher grows to level 71. Pretty cool. Okay, so here comes another Gengar. So we're going to go with Smoke. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it does something right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Psychic Attack since we are faster. We're one level ahead of this guy right here. And... Well, almost defeats Gengar. And, okay, it looks like we're having a Psychic off. <laughs> okay, and uh, it looks like she won. Okay, alrighty. I see how it is. Let's go with Tornado right here. Needs a little bit of loving, a little love. So, let's go right ahead and use a Drill Peg attack and see if this actually works. Holy crud. Come on, Gengar. Come on. And... Here we go. Drill Peg. Hits it pretty hard. So here we go again. Another Drill Peg attack. And just like that, Gengar has been defeated. And it looks like... We got one more Pokemon, and that is Crobat. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and switch it off. Let's go straight for good old buddy Shocker right here. And as many of you guys already remember, we did get, um, what was his name? Uh, we did get a Toxic Batman to evolve, so no biggie right there. And look at this, Crobat has been defeated. 
What now? Okay. Alrighty, so there we go. Agatha has been defeated. She's obviously acknowledging us. Yes, shout out Roman Reigns right there. So she's like, you win. See what that old dove sees in you now. I have nothing to, uh, else to say. Run along now, child. And so, let's go right ahead and, uh... Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. And, uh, let's see, let's go with the full restore. Let's go with the uh, Shocker. And just like that, Shocker is getting some points. So, let's go right ahead and speed this up a little. Let's go right here. Go with that. Let's go with this. And, well, let's go with... Let's go with the revive, a regular revive right here. So let's go straight for smoke. And just to finish it off, let's go with the full restore smoke. Okay, so we got one more guy from the Elite Four plus Gary. So let's go straight for a shocker right here. And yes. Okay. Alrighty, so we're doing the, the we're doing the whole march right here. I kind of wish that they didn't switch the song right here to its more modern version. I kind of like the, <laughs> the original better. So here is Lance, the Dragon Trainer. And he's like, ah, so you've returned, Draven. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your League Challenge ends with me, Draven. Yeah, no, not really. Okay. As many of you guys already know, I love this song. So, here it is, guys. Elite, Bam Elite 4 Battle, number 4, and it's against Lance. We kind of have him down, and yes, he's coming out with his Gyarados right here. And, well, as many of you guys already know, Gyarados likes to use that Intimidate. So we're going to go with a Thunder Attack. And to our surprise, it hits him with first attack. And there we go. Quad damage. Say goodbye to Gyarados. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. And, well, let's see. Coming out with an Aerodactyl. Let's see what happens here when we use Leonardo. Alrighty. Leonardo, please do us the favors. Let's get it. And here is Aerod Aerodactyl, so let's go straight for a Surf Attack, and well, Aerodactyl, one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, using its Earthquake, so let's go straight for the Surf Attack, and this will take care of the rest, yes buddy, yes, okay, alrighty, Shocker, you're getting some points, Leonardo, you're living easy, and here comes Dragonite, and I do believe, actually, you know what? We're gonna stick stick with the uh, with Leonardo right here. I do believe in this portion right here. He does evolve all three of his Dragonites. I could be mistaken, but here comes an Ice Beam attack, and bam! Ice Beam does it. Save by a Dragonite. Holy crud! Alrighty. And uh, let's see what happens. Yes, he's coming out with three Dragonites now. This is, this is kind of what irritates me right here, okay? He could have just came out with one more Pokemon on his team. I mean, there is one Dragon-type Pokemon that was out there, and that was uh, Kingdra. I'm just saying. I don't know. But I guess they were trying to keep it a little more modern right here. And, well, Leonardo's kicking some butt. And, well, look at that. He does have Kingdra. Never mind. So, here is Kingdra. Level 66. This Pokemon does know Dragon Dance, and you do not want to mess with this Pokemon when it does have Dragon Dance, because it will become a lot faster, it will become a lot stronger, and then you are pretty much screwed. So, there's one Dragon Dance, and so, let's go straight for a Seismic Toss, and that nearly defeats this guy, so he's coming off with another Dragon Dance right here, and I don't see this guy raising up its, uh, or killing up his Pokemon. So here comes a Surf Attack. This doesn't really hit us really hard. But here comes the Seismic Toss Attack. And just like that, we have defeated Kingdra. Look at that. Okay. Well, <laughs> he's like, that's it. I hate to admit it, but you're a Pokemon Master. Again. Okay. Still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Draven. 
You are now the Pokemon League champion. Still have been. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. His name is... Gary. He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League champion. Holy crap. Okay, so when did I lose my crown? Like, this is the reason why... Like, this is the part that does not make sense. Seriously, guys. It doesn't. How in the heck... How in the heck does Gary become the champion without beating me, the champion? I'm just asking. I'm simply asking, guys. Comment down below. Tell me how uh, this uh, this whole thing works out. So, we're going to be going up against Gary. Yes, he does have quite a few different Pokemon, and we're going to be going up against him. Uh, we're well prepared for him. So, what up, Gary? Hey, Draven. You came back, Draven. <laughs> that is so great. My rival should, keep, uh, should be uh, strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over the for the Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that could be any Pokemon type. And now, I am the Pokemon League champion. Draven, do you know what that means? I'm pretty sure I know, I know what that means, but you haven't taken my crown. So, here he is saying, I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Are you really? Okay. So... Here we go, taking on quote unquote champion Gary. And he is coming out with his hair across right here. Oh, yes, I was prepared for you, bitch. So here we go. Drill Peck. Oh, yes, this is quad damage. And there goes Heracross. Yes, I know your every move, Gary. You, you will not defeat me. And I think this game is about to turn 20 years old. And yeah, he's coming out with the big guns. He is coming out with uh, Tyranitar right here. Alrighty. Let's see what Tyranitar can do. Now, you guys gotta understand something. Tyranitar does have Sand Stream. But there is a way around it, and that is if you use your own weather effect. Now, Sandstorm does buff up Pokemon, or hit Pokemon who are not Steel, Rock, or Ground-type Pokemon. So let's go with a Rain Dance right here to prevent any of this, uh, this nonsense. And here comes Tyranitar with his Thunderbolt attack. Yes. This Pokemon is also well prepared. It's super effective. And yes, it is raining. It is boring. The old man is snoring, but guess what? Oh, crap baskets. Oh, crud. Okay, so here comes a Thunderbolt. Let's go fast. Okay, and we are paralyzed. Good gravy. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little. Okay. Here's a Thunderbolt. And here's a Surf that we were supposed to use two turns back. And, well, here we go. Buffed up Surf for the win. Suck it, Tyranitar. Alrighty. Okay. So that's another Pokemon down. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Venusaur right here. So let's go. Hmm. Let's go with Tornado, mainly because it is still raining. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, but Kiss's moves are not going to be as powerful in the rain right here. So, level 75 Venusaur, take this drill peck. Okay. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's about to faint. Critical hit. Tornado. Yes, Tornado is becoming the MVP right here. Didn't really win a lot of matches its first time around. And, well, he's coming out with an Elegazam. We all know it is a very, very powerful special attacker, but... Physically, it sucks, so here we go. Drill Peck yet again. And, well, here comes its Calm Mind. Now, you guys have to be careful for this. Like Dragon Dance, it will increase its special defense, uh, special attack and special defense, and, and you know, it's going to just, like, screw you up if you let it buff it up. And, well, boom. There we go. Alakazam has been defeated. And, well, here comes a Gyarados. I've been waiting for your ass. So here we go. Switching it out to Shocker. Two more Pokemon. I cannot believe this. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, you can intimidate me all you want, but guess what? Thunder is about to hit you. Here we go. Yes, he's assembled a very, very strong team. And some of these Pokemon I've been wanting to use. Gyarados... Heracross and Tyranitar, and that just it irritates me sometimes. And well, there we go. Gary's coming out with his Arcanine right here. Let's go right ahead and go with Leonardo. Let's finish this off. Alrighty. Let's go. 
And, well, you can intimidate me all you want, but guess what? I'm about to do this. I'm about to rain dance. I'm about to dance all over your grave right here. And, well, let's see. That right there is going to hit us, so... Here we go. Rain dance. It's about to weaken Arcanine's uh, fiery type attacks. It's not liking the rain. And let's go with a surf. And here comes extreme speed. Hopefully this is not a critical hit. And... No, it's not. So here we go. Surf attack with a little bit of an increase from the Mystic Water and the Rain Dance. And there you go. Critical hit. Suck it, Gary. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, buddy. And there it is, guys. The real champion has won. He's like, no. That can't be. You beat me at my best. And I'm sorry about that. After all that work to become league champion, you weren't champion, man. My reign is over already? It's not fair! Yeah, life is not fair. I, I really could care less about you, homeboy. Uh, why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon! Darn it! You're the new Pokémon champion. Although I don't like to admit it. I've always been the champion, and of course, Professor Oak is gonna be coming out, and he's gonna be like Draven! So you've won again, sincerely. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. Again. You've grown up so much since you le first left with Squirtle to work on the Pokedex. Draven, you have come of age. Gary, I'm disappointing you again. You are a mistake. Please stop Pokemon. Just be my assistant or something because you can't hack it right here. Anywho, I came in. I heard that you beat the Elite Four, but when I got, got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? It's because you don't like Pokemon. That's pretty much it. I'm sorry, I, I, <laughs> I have a lot worse things to say about this, but... You know, I'm trying to keep it PG a little, although I did drop the B word. So anyway, he's like, you have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and, and trust. Without them, you'll never become champ again. Draven, you understand your victory was, and was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Draven, come with me. Flipping you off, Gary. I am flipping you off yet again. Okay, so here we are in the Hall of Fame. And, well, for the second time, we are going to be recorded as the League Champs. And, uh, well... I don't know what else to say, guys. It's like winning the WWE Championship. It's just... It just... It just... It's... It's... It's awesome. Whew! Okay! Alrighty, so here we go. We're showing it off. There is Tornada, the Firo, Shocker, the Jolteon, Gengar, or Smoke. Then we got Leonardo. Here is a Big Booty Bed Kiss. And Smasher herself. We are the League Champions. And uh, yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. I am the champion yet again. Suck it, Gary. Yes. Okay. So, that is uh, pretty much it, huh? <laughs> He's crying straight to his mama. Alright, do our secret handshake, Professor Oak, and uh, away you go. Alrighty. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. What else do I have to say, guys? Not a lot. I mean, yes, I was thinking of using different Pokemon for this whole final episode but it's a little bit of kind of time consuming plus I need to continue on with my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough right here so anywho guys yes another another walkthrough completed I am very proud and uh, wow in 35 episodes we managed to complete this whole thing right here so yeah yeah we did we did do some good on this walkthrough right here um, let's see what else yeah, we will be using some of these Pokemon that we had, or that we have on, on this game, in our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, going into the Battle Frontier, once we get to it. Um, is there any other, any other um, uh, remake game that I would love to play? Well, the one that comes to mind right now is Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Zapphire. Obviously, I've already played Omega Ruby. I want to get Alpha Zapphire out there, but the thing is, guys... I'm bringing it down to two games because, well, the schedule's picking up yet again. So, what a good time to finish this walkthrough than right here because, well, 
later on, like in two weeks, yeah, I'm going to be busy again on the weekends, and I'm only going to have like one extra day just to do whatever it is I can. So I'm going to be sticking for right now Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Heart Gold. Hopefully we get those done by the time March rolls around. Other than that, guys, um, I do have plans for other games. Kind of thinking about it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that like once we get Emerald done, we might be playing Pokemon Platinum yet again. I haven't thought about it. Uh, well, I haven't, you know, I haven't really like gone further than beyond that. But I'm just saying this. I'm having fun playing these games all over again, guys. I'm, I'm very happy that you guys have enjoyed what I've put out. Especially with the changes that I made and all that stuff. So, the, again, thank you guys for all the comments, all the great advice and all that stuff going into these games right here. Again, the comment section down below is free for you guys. So you can uh, comment and make suggestions. Uh, help me out with, like, if I'm ever missing on something right there. Because I always read my comments and I always answer back. So, just keep me in the loop, guys. You guys are my subscribers for a reason. And I am proud to, to be the host right here. Other than that, we do have two more games to go, and that is Pokemon Emerald and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Those games are going to be up the hook because, well, I kind of want to finish Emerald in 40 episodes. That is a. That right there is a, a goal. We're already 20 episodes in. Well, as I'm recording this, it's 20 episodes, so we're going to have to do a lot, but. I kind of want to finish it before 40 episodes, or within 40 episodes, so we'll see what happens. In Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, I want to be as meticulous as possible with that. That way you guys have fun watching it. So, again, we're going to be putting in the effort just to get these games uh, right. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for the comments, for the donations, uh, and thank you guys for being as patient as always. I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald and Heart Gold Soul Silver. Thank you guys.